So there's no denying that the Apple Watch is a fantastic device that you can get a lot of use out of. But what do you do if you're having so many battery issues with it? You check out this video. That's exactly what you do. In this video, we're going to go over some of the best ways to get the most out of your Apple Watch battery wise and also go through some troubleshooting steps that you can take to fix any kind of lingering battery issues you're having with your Apple Watch Series 5. Let the download begin. So if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss when we release some cool, helpful content. So one of the first things we're going to take a look at is actually one of the newest and some arguably best feature of the Apple Watch Series 5, which would be the always on display. Now, Apple has done some optimizations to kind of keep that always on display from eating away at your battery. But if your screen is always on and always doing something, a la Mickey here just dancing along, it's going to use up a lot of battery power. So I do find that turning off your always on display does help with your battery life overall. An easiest way to turn that off is going to be to log into your Apple Watch companion app on your iPhone. And once you're in, you go to display and brightness and you have your always on display option there. And you can just toggle that on or off. And I do find helps improve your battery just a little bit, actually maybe a lot, a bit. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is adjusting your brightness settings and also your text settings, because those two things can also kind of work in conjunction to help deplete your battery. Of course, the brightness affects the brightness of your screen and the text itself is just more pixels on the screen. So with more pixels equals more battery use. So optimizing your text and your brightness can help improve your overall battery life. And so for that, you would just go into the settings app of the Apple Watch itself, and then you scroll down to brightness and display or display and brightness and you click on that and then you have your display and brightness settings here. You can adjust this to make the screen a little dimmer or a little lighter based on where you want it to be. Now remember the brighter it is, the more energy you're going to use out of your battery itself. And you also have the always on display option here as well if you wanted to turn it off via your Apple Watch and then you want to adjust your text size as well. So I like to keep it somewhere a little bit of bad eyes. So somewhere in the middle to high, but if it's all the way up, you're using more pixels. So the lower the better, but you just want to make it as readable as possible without using too many pixels on your screen. And believe it or not, these little tweaks can help improve your battery life just a little bit. Okay, so the next two things we're going to take a look at is going to be inside your Apple Watch companion app itself. So if you log into the companion app and you go into your generals tab, you have two options in here that you may want to consider disabling if you're having any kind of battery issues or your battery is dying quickly. The first one's going to be the automatic app install and what this does does is it basically does what it says. It automatically installs apps to your Apple Watch without you knowing. So that can kind of work in conjunction if you don't want too many apps on your Apple Watch or if you have an app that is either running in the background or just using too much energy of your watch itself, then that can overall deplete your battery life. So you want to manage the kind of applications you're putting into the Apple Watch. Disabling that option gives you the ability to do so. Now, on the other hand, if you do have applications that are running in the background, then you want Want to disable the background app refresh option there. That background app refresh option is something that apps use in the background to update its information. So if you have applications that don't need to be updated frequently, you may want to disable that option and you can do it on a per app basis. So you don't have to necessarily disable all your apps. You can just kind of go through and select the apps you don't feel need to be updated every hour or every half an hour that don't need to be running in the background you can just go ahead and disable those one by one. And these are all the apps that are running in the background of the Apple Watch. So you can kind of get an idea of how much battery life these applications can use if all these apps are updating frequently and just reaching out for information on a consistent basis. So the next thing you're probably going to want to turn off is the Hey Siri option. And this is really, yeah, see it activates. So this is really if you don't use Hey Siri as much, if you're not using that particular assistant whose name I don't want to say as much, you can go ahead and disable it on the Apple Watch itself. Now, keep in mind that the microphone actually only listens when you say that particular command, but it does open the mic every now and then when it hears something close to that command. So if you say, hey, the mic starts listening and then it'll stop listening if you don't say the name of the assistant itself. So 
on and off throughout the day, you may be saying different words and different phrases that's triggering the mic and also using up just a little bit of battery power. A little bit goes a long way. So if you disable that application, especially if you're not using it, it can help definitely improve your overall battery life. You would just go into your settings app and then you're gonna find Siri in the options of the settings. And then you can just go ahead and disable the different Siri options that are available. So you have listen for the Hey Siri command. You also have the raise to speak command and the press the digital crown. So these options you can actually kind of keep. I would also disable the raise to speak option because again, that's just something that whenever you do that particular action, it's looking for you to say something. So it opens the mic up and uses a little bit of power. Disable these top two and you should be good to go. So the haptic feedback is the little vibrations you get whenever you do anything specific on the watch itself. So if you like press a button or if you press and hold the screen or if you go into a settings or anything of that nature, you get a little bit of haptic feedback from the watch or some sounds or anything of that nature. Those can also help to deplete the battery of the watch itself. So if you're looking to scrounge for a little bit of battery life or a little bit of power, you can actually just turn those settings off and not have to worry about them at all. And then that will help conserve some power as well. So how you would turn that off is you would go into your settings and in your settings, you have sound and haptics and you're able to basically adjust those settings from here. So you can turn off the alerts. You can turn off the digital crown haptics itself and you can adjust your alerts and sounds. So again, these little tweaks may seem like something small, but in the end, they do add up to conserving a lot of battery life when it comes to your Apple Watch. So if you're having issues kind of getting through a full day, a battery life, you can kind of go through these settings that we're listing here. And these settings should definitely help you kind of muscle through the rest of your day, coupled with whatever else you're doing to power save on the Apple Watch, you should end up getting a lot more battery life out of the device and a lot more bang for its buck. Now, now, if you've made substantial changes to these settings and you're still having some persistent battery issues, there's actually a couple things you can do to try to troubleshoot this problem. And since we are a troubleshooting channel, we're going to go ahead and list a couple of the best troubleshooting steps you can take to fix any kind of battery issues you may be having with your Apple Watch after you've made the adjustments we've suggested, of course. So one of the first and easiest things to do is hard reset the watch. If you're ever having any kind of battery problems, the watch is dying too quickly. A lot of users have found that if you do a hard reset and that's just pressing and holding the side button on the watch until you get the power off option that appears. Once that power off option appears, you slide it close, the watch powers down, you leave the watch off for about maybe couple minutes. I would always say wait for about maybe a minute or two minutes just to let it clear all the information out, let it kind of sit, clear the cache or any information that's inside the watch gets cleared out completely and power it back on. Then kind of compare your battery life to what you were getting previously and see if it is improved in any way, shape or form. So then if that doesn't work, the next thing you want to do is unpair your watch, but be prepared that once the watch is unpaired, you're going to have to repair it to the watch either from a backup or start from scratch itself. So it's not as simple as a step, but it is a step that definitely helps with battery problems. And to unpair the watch, you just go into your Apple Watch companion app. You tap the watch itself and you tap that little eye next to the watch. And then you have your unpair Apple Watch option there. So once again, you go through that unpair process, let the watch sit, reboot both your phone and the Apple Watch itself, and then try the repair process once more and see if that helps with your battery problem. Now, battery problems can also be a software issue. Apple has released quite a bit of software dealing with iOS 13 and the new Apple Watch OS itself. Some of those included bugs that have affected the battery life. So one of the first things that I always tell people to do nowadays, if they're having any kind of battery issues or problems with their devices, is to make sure they check for updates. Apple has been releasing a lot of different updates to patch a lot of problems problems it's been having with its OS. So there could be an update out there that helps you with your battery issue. So you can just check for updates simply by going into your Apple Watch into the Generals tab, the software update option there. It'll start downloading and installing the latest version of Watch OS. And those versions of Watch OS, they have different patches that help improve any kind of battery or stability issues that you're having with the Apple Watch and your iPhone. And of course, if all else fails, there's always the nuclear bomb the explosion that you can drop on any device and that is a factory reset back to its default settings. Sometimes something can happen to the software that either corrupts the device itself and the best bet is just to wipe it clean and start from scratch. To do that with the Apple Watch, you just go into your general settings, you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you have a reset option there. You just go in, 
you're going to erase all the content and settings of the watch itself. Once that data is erased, it's like you don't have an Apple Watch paired to your iPhone. You completely reboot your iPhone, reboot the Apple Watch, pair the two back up, and then check to see if that helps with your battery issue. Again, a lot of these steps may seem like a lot, but they do definitely help with the problem. So give them a shot. You always want to make sure you troubleshoot your issues, but if all else fails and none of the troubleshooting steps that we've listed here works, your next step, and it's always your next step that we suggest, is to reach out to Apple. If you're having an issue that you just can't troubleshoot between your Apple Watch or your iPhone, definitely reach out to Apple. It could be something else that's causing the issue. It may not be anything to do with the software or the battery itself. It could be a hardware problem. It could be a communications problem. It could just be a bad Apple Watch. So definitely, if you've gone through all the troubleshooting steps and you've reached the end of the road, your next step is to definitely definitely reach out to Apple. So hopefully guys, these tips will help you improve the battery life on your Apple Watch overall. If you have some tips we didn't share in this video, go ahead and share them in the comment section down below. And also if you have any questions, share them in the comment section as well. We eventually always get around to answering any kind of questions you guys comment on our videos. Until then guys, you can check out this video here. It's some tips on what to do if your Apple Watch just won't connect. And this is something that YouTube believes you'd enjoy watching. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe with that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content like this one. Until next time, guys. Peace.